Um, it. What do you do? No, stop. Are you gonna throw something at me at every stream now? Every single one. Oh my god. Okay, so she started doing this last stream. She started throwing treats at me. So now I've got I've got chips ahoy. She threw a fruit roll up at me last time. Cool tradition, babe. What? It was a fruit by the foot. Okay, thank you. So always worry that I'm gonna perish or something like that. So let's now try all the inserts. I try all the inserts because to be honest, I haven't even tried them all. I've tried hybrid. Uh, I did blame Gavin for uh, shipping it with all strong because he was actually helping uh, Jonas package them at one point. Uh, but uh turns out that we figured it out that he wasn't there on that day. He was in the day before. So it's all Jonas. He sent it to me with all strong and it felt so different from all strong in in a V2. And I think part of the reason of that is because the plates are smoother. It was easier to push because of the nature of the plates. So I want to try all the three clicks first because three click is never my favorite, never has been. And I always think it's just because the body of a wrapped is the length that you would want to use for a three click, right? Uh, and I think two click, it ends up spreading the magnets a little bit too far. And I always just end up getting bit. I just get bit by magnets all the time. So, uh, I thought I would just go with hybrid because I really like the feeling of the hybrid magnets in the ball boy. Absolutely. It's the one insert pleases all, uh, you can't go wrong with it, but I remember the lap light, right? Light is at least three times the weight. It is 74 grams. Uh, so each side is like, you know, 37-ish grams or something like that last time I weighed, depending on which magnets you put in. The magnets will make the very, very slightest difference. Uh, for the extra price, I would, and like to save on shipping and all of that shit, just, just fucking get the whole thing. Just get the kit, right? With everything, you just have it all, right? And then you're not going to get it and you're not going to see other people using other stuff and being like, oh man, I wish I got the whole kit, right? And then you're going like, I was talking to Jonas about it and he was saying he was talking about the order number he was up to. Cause it was up to like, at the time I was talking, he was up to the like six, four, nine, seven. And it started around like six, one, six, zero. And I was like, wow, holy crap. And he was like, there is so many in there that is just parts, just parts. So that means there are so many people that are getting it and then going, Oh my God, I need more parts. So just get all the parts. Okay. Just, just get them all at the beginning and then you're saving yourself, okay? Because people are already making that mistake and just going, oh, fuck, now I need more magnets, now I need more inserts, fuck, fuck, fuck. So just do it. All right, so it's one side and then we always flip the stick of the magnets and then we're automatically on the other polarity and then it is foolproof. You're going to get it right. Money is meant to be spent. And if it's birthday money, it's extra meant to be spent. So this is another cool thing. Super cool thing about these new dampeners. You'll see this on like the Modus Works Facebook group. There's some picture out there of Jonas's desk. And he's just got those things all lined up, ready to go for assembly. Because he's worked it out that he's just got the dampeners fit right onto there like that. Great. So I don't know how this works. I guess I don't have, I don't even think he sent me. Did he send me three click dampeners? I gotta check this. He fucked up. Oh, no, he's smart. That's what these are. Ta da. So there's two different kinds of dampeners. What a smart guy. You're off the hook now, Jonas. Okay. So we're gonna switch this. There, done. Good. Good. You got it. Okay. Congratulations. You are not going to regret it. Okay. So one thing you're going to notice and you're going to be like, what is this? Is that 
I, I mean, I always have these pieces of steel, right? And these are like, in my opinion, like the best way to do sliders. Just get two different pieces, whatever it is, just get two different chunks of something that you can easily hold and stuff because then you can just take it and you can just put it right together. So I find it easiest when you take this and you got to line this pin up with that. But you might notice that you feel like it's like trying to like magnetize one side or the other. And at first I was going, what's going on? I thought it was stainless steel. That's not supposed to do that. And I realized, oh, simple, right. It's because the pin itself is actually not stainless steel. That's magnetic, all right? No big deal whatsoever. It doesn't change any of it. It's just something to know so that when you are putting that, you're trying to get that like linked into there and then you're just holding that there and you're good, done. Pull it off. Drop that screw down in there. I should mention, uh, I did get something wrong in the last live. It's not a big deal, but I had Jonas watch the uh, last live, the unboxing. And I got him to be like, hey man, check it out. Tell me if I fucked anything up or I got something wrong or info or something like that. And he said, oh no, it's all good. The only thing you got wrong is that you mentioned that the screw might be the same screw that I used with like Ultim or copper wrap V2s or any uh, material that's a little softer. He would use a, a longer screw to help it go in more and to also stop people from like over screwing it because it would bottom out quicker. And he said, yeah, I mentioned that, oh, it looks like it's a longer screw, but it's actually a totally different screw. He had to, he had to search and search and search and try to find a screw that would work for it and work for the density of the like uh, body he was going into. And just with the length, because it's so much more body he has to get through to actually get a bite into there because you're going through this whole insert, right? So he actually ended up, end of the day, going with a metric screw for the first time. So he's finally coming around to metric in Canada. The official thing is metric and not imperial. Uh, but he has been uh, absolutely religiously imperial as you know most Americans are and stuff. So even the magnets he uses are imperial, right? Sizes. So yeah, it's a, it's a metric screw. Uh, yeah. That's what I got wrong. So I messed that up, but uh, yeah, there you go. So two click, two click wrapped light. Let's switch back to turn that mic on. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, see, I it's it's a weird one. I don't I think that for for the weight of this thing it is really nice with the smooth magnets so easy it's so easy i already like two click better with these plates i think but honestly i just do not use two click a lot so to me i think it's kind of like good things come in threes or something but there's there's like certain moves you can't do you can't do like that rock and t sort of thing where you where you go over top with the blah, blah, blah. you do that you can't do that one because of the magnet orientation um it just feels more limiting to me but it is an option that is totally possible with the wrapped and it's important for me to you know have all of the inserts to like show all you guys and stuff but yeah that is just one of those it's just one of those ones, but that's what that's like. A little quieter, I'd say, than the three click for some reason. Very good for if you have any sort of hand injury or arthritis or just, you know, you're just in general, like not good with your hands or something. And you want the absolute easiest, like chillest pushing experience ever for a slider. It's the two click medium. Cause it's just the least amount of magnets holding this thing together. This is so easy to use. It's like so chill, so incredibly chill. Yeah. 
That's two click medium. Let's go to two click strong. Check that out. It's funny because like I didn't, I'm already like going like, oh, God damn it. Cause I, I've gone and I've, you know, filed the plates on that one of them. Right. And because everything's so smooth, I can already like feel the difference. So after this stream, I'm going to go there meticulously and, and go and like sandpaper back down and get it back to like perfect smoothness. Cause that's what I'm used to now. I would worry about dropping this, to be honest. You could worry about it, but honestly, like, this, this thing is so, like, what? It's, like, it's it's a budget thing, right? Like, it's it's so, I don't really care about dropping it. I have sometimes, sort of. I haven't done a big drop, but it's, and you drop anything on concrete, it's going to suck. Uh, and then it wouldn't be all smooth anymore, right? But, yeah. I don't know. It's... You would. You would drop it more. You would definitely drop it more with that because you could probably see me just using it. And I think all that is is that I find every different kind of um, different kind of insert you use. Yeah, with it being so easy to move, it's like it's it's too easy. And every insert you put in there, you kind of have to learn how to push it. Right? Like you got to learn what strength it takes for you to push it. And I think I was going at it. I was sitting there pushing it with a three click kind of strength, like what I was used to before. So then there it goes. It's just going to start, you know, falling off. So do this side, I th honestly, all the time I've tried uh, two click strong, flip the stack. It kind of just scares me because it sort of bites. It does bite me. But this is a first. So we will see if I get bit. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to, I'm either going to order a whole new one now, or I'm going to wait for him to sell the sell off the 500 or the material that he has for the 500 that he got to make. And I know that after that, he's said that the plan is to kind of go back and start like making some different parts, right? And offer just the plates for sale and possibly different materials, possibly, possibly, I don't know. Uh, like the tops, like in different materials, like cheap stuff too, to keep it cheap. So like we're talking like maybe brass or copper, maybe like titanium. Jonas, are you listening? Titanium, thank you. So that kind of stuff would be cool. And then I don't know if I'm gonna wait and then do do it then you know and then maybe just like buy just tops that i could do stuff with extra plates more foam dampeners that kind of thing right i think i'll just stay out of it for now and then let you guys do it oh jesus see it already kind of tried to bite me this one is like i like it better Now those plates sound different because of the the sanding we did, right? So I'm hearing it. I don't know if you are. That it just sounds a little louder, but that will be gone later. Yeah. The haptics are seriously, it's just it's very, very satisfying. Have a theory though, that the middle ground is half medium, half strong for two click. Let me just confirm real quick here. Let's take this one out. And go to this. So what polarity are we on now? Because we lost track. It's easy. You just stick it on there, right? Stick it on the one you're trying to do. If you're just changing out one side and then just check that's wrong. 
won't let me in. So other side, there we go. And then if you want, you can just take it, put it down there. Got the polarity right now. And you can just take the foam dampeners out too. You don't need them in there. Just so you know. I'll do that with one of them here at some point. Oh, come on. Stay in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's a really good midway. I like that. That would be the best one that I would go with. Okay, so let's go to 2 by 4 We'll go to three-click medium. Try that. And then we'll do all hybrid, maybe, and then all strong. I'm going to get through all these. I want it to be out there so people can see them all. Get this out. That goes over there with that one. Oh. Let's not mix that up. Those ones we've tried. Two by four, three click, all medium. We're gonna have to switch these out. But you know what? I'm just gonna leave them out. Let's see what that, see what that crunch sounds like. This is a pretty popular one. I've heard Jonas saying that this is like one of his favorites is just all of the all medium. But he's also into combos like like I am, like doing the that's one of his favorite ones, the half half medium, half strong in the two click. He's actually the guy that first got me into like trying more combos. And I think you guys should too. It's totally fine. All the magnet orientation is the same, like all the centers are lined up. So it never makes any like difference operational wise. It's really fun. You can play with just incremental, uh, incremental strength increases. So if you think that, oh, the two by four medium is just a little too weak for me, you could do like what I started out the stream with, where you have half all um, two by four medium and half two by four hybrid, and then you've only added four strong magnets, and it's just a little bit stronger. So. So that, remember that is with no dampeners. Some of you are really gonna like that. That's like the crunch on this actually is very nice because it's so, I find it to be quite a subtle one. It's top of the like the body how close it is to the the magnet inserts it doesn't allow for tons of room so you're not ending up with like crazy just really loud sort of rattle this isn't like you hear what i mean A little bit. It's nice, right? Not too much, not too little, right? Very Goldilocks crunch sort of area, area that it hits in there. Snap, pop, and crunch without dampeners. Yeah. That actually brings up uh, something that I had forgotten about. Thank you for reminding me. Um, an, 
unknowingly is that I was trying to think about how the, the click quality um, was sort of more dynamic and different than the V2. And it's so impossible to try to capture it on microphone, but there's almost like there's a depth to the clicks. It's not just a click. The clicks that I was getting, like with how it was all set up before I started this, with the half hybrid, half medium, three click, with the dampeners in, all polished and broken in and stuff. I was getting these clicks that I can only describe having like a layer of like, like pop click snap and like slap all at the same time is like, no matter depending how I sat there and I listened to it, I could pick up one of those sort of elements so I don't know if I've just been playing with these fucking things like way too much or if I'm like just going crazy or if I'm onto something, but I, I swear to God, I was getting, I was getting those kinds of elements and it's just, it was really, it's intoxicatingly cool and it was kind of blowing my mind. Uh, where is my other hybrid? Cause we're going to go to hybrid now. There it is. Sometimes it's hard to tell. So the ever-loving hybrid, the hybrid is the Goldilocks, uh, the hybrid is the Goldilocks insert. It is the one that I always recommend to everyone. If someone's like, I don't know what inserts I can get, I just, just go get hybrid. Just get hybrid. If someone, if you don't know, just get hybrid. It is, it's like what got developed. I know stories of how like it might've come, came to fruition, but I think it's just like one of those things that is a natural sort of progression uh, with sliders and with like laddering because people go, oh, like uh, what, what am I going to do if I'm laddering and it keeps falling off? Well, what would be the answer? Probably put some stronger magnets in the corner uh, and it works and it also just makes the haptics really fucking cool and really fun and yeah this is what it's like in the wrapped light i don't know if it's worth mentioning but all of these inserts all of these inserts are are ones that are in the v2 okay you can get all these inserts in the V2. None of these inserts will work with the V2, but all of the like centers, the magnet centers of the layout is exactly the same as the V2. So you can take any V2 and just put it with the wrapped light and it's exactly the same layout. So they all work, right? So that's kind of something worth noting that is uh it's pretty cool so and yeah it's fun to put a v2 with a with a light if you are lucky enough to have both and i like it can't even tell the layout's the same uh the size so it's like that's how completely same size that it is can't even tell when you look at one side or the other all right so Hybrid, good old hybrid. Hybrid has some of the best haptics. It is, it just feels right. It just feels good. It's just satisfying, satisfying three click. It of course only comes in the three click. Uh, it could technically come in a two click. It just hasn't been made. I kind of think it should be uh, having, you know, just some mediums in the, in the center, you could do, you could have something like this where you just have strongs on the outside. Uh, I think it's something that could be, could be done with this. Yeah. 
that works with this. It wouldn't take out too much material that does it. So if any, if there's any inserts that should be made, have the first two click hybrid, it's probably the wrapped light inserts. Are you listening, Jonas? Are you listening? Good. Okay. So hybrid. The one insert pleases all. The Goldilocks insert. I guess we're just doing them all crunch now. I could put the put them back in for the strong, maybe. Okay. So that's the one. That's the good one. And you know what the thing is, is that as much as hybrid is loved, I I only have one wrapped V2 that's set up with hybrid. And I, I, I don't know what that is. It's just like, I don't know if I'm like pushing against the grain on that one or I'm thinking like, you know, oh, like, <laughs> I don't know. I just love the combos. I just love doing the combos. I have... I have like two favorite combos. I will go over them again, but I just, I just love the combos. And so I only have one that's actually set up with hybrid, uh, but I always gravitate towards two other combos. So this is a great trick when you want to like do new inserts over top is that you just do that. So you can just pull them right out. Right. And then just keep them all there. Do that. And you just go take out the magnets you need. You don't have to go and, do everything all at once. We take out all the magnets and do it again. Uh, do I have enough? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we gotta get more. Be right back. I've really gotta. I've really gotta change the spot where those magnets are. Okay, so. Is that the right one? Nope. I should have flipped that around. Oh, this is where it gets hard. Two by four. Strong. Always wants to skip around. This is always a bit of a challenge. Okay. Oh, not grab that one. I personally can't like i don't know i find two by all strong magnets i find it to be like it's it's pretty overwhelming like it's it for me it worked i used to try it a bit and then it's one just like the hybrid that i tend to not use i've never tried it in the light this is the first time ever i've tried it in the light oh except for when it shipped <laughs> so this is the first time i've consciously tried it uh so we'll see if i notice any difference so yeah just remembering that it was shipped like that all right i only have one slider Hybrid just works. It does. It just works. It's so many, like even, even like makers who are doing like, like fidget boy and stuff who are doing like, uh, like fully contained non-modular sliders. Those ones, like so many of those are just, they're just a hybrid in there. There's so many that are hybrid, uh, like, like a Verk by like, uh, uh, Cladis 3d studios. That's all hybrid layout. Like it's just, it's just something that it just works. So people just do it. Two by four strong. That is, yeah. God damn it. That's actually good. Oh, God damn it. I actually like that. It's there's those clicks are so sure of themselves. And because the plates are smoother, it's like easier to push it around. 
Who knows though, if I was trying to do this for like, you know, uh, an hour driving around in traffic or something, maybe my hands would get tired. But now that I'm trying this consciously and it makes me want to, makes me want to like try it again for longer. Yeah, no, it can't be bad. It's just a good buy. It's one of those things, you know, that's a buy. Just buy it. Oh, that's actually good. Damn it. Fuck. <laughs> It's nice slow. It's like it's a. Uh, mm. Damn. Damn, I like that. So. Let's. Do. Now that we have an all strong. In one side. So one of my absolute favorites. And I have it in. I'm going to say one to at least three of my rap v2s i have this combo in there okay so that one stays because we want to have all strong in one side yes we do and then we want to put uh we have to put hybrid in the other side so this is two by four strong all strong in one side and then hybrid in the other. It has been one of my absolute favorite combos for forever now. It's in three of my wrapped V2s and just a few little moves with it in the wrapped light here for the first time. It's the first time me trying it. I am already in love. It's so good. It's so great if you're finding the hybrid to be just a little too easy for you. You want a little bit more solidity to the clicks, a little bit more challenge possibly, but you don't want that full, full strength of all strong, then why not just take out four of the strong magnets in one side and replace that with the medium ones. And then you've just had that, that incremental strength decrease from the all strong down to this combo. So it's a great one. Uh, I've, I've totally crossed over certain people. There were some people that I, I convinced to try it and then they were raving at me. They were like, oh my God. They were like, it, it's, it's, they said it was like the third click, the second or third click where you're going down. You can push, it's like this resistance and then just that last little, That one supposed to be the best. So one of the best. So that's one. Now we're going to land back where it all started. Uh, okay, so take this one out. We need to go all medium. This is the one, I don't know. I, I don't know why I like this one so much. It's just a great, Midway. Yeah, that's that side. Oh, that's that side. So I'm going to the other side. Polarity check. Check. All right. So there we go. Back to the start. Uh, love it. God love it. It is just the perfect sort of feel for me personally. For the clicks, it's the right sound of the clicks and how loud they are, how they feel, how they sound. Let's see if I can emulate some of that pop, snap, slap, click that I was talking about before. I don't know. I love it. Impossible to get perfect, perfect over video and stuff like that. But this is the closest I've been to being able to give you guys accurate like sound for how these things sound. 
it's they're so they're so addictive. Ah, okay. So that is all of the inserts. That is this is the wrap light, and I'm 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 loving it. I am so impressed and so happy. And this is important. I I feel so good and so happy that I am able to honestly say to anyone who has never experienced a wrapped V2 that like guaranteed you if you get a wrapped light, you are still getting an incredibly like unique and awesome experience that is very, very like on par and in some ways better than the Rap V2. Jonas has really created something freaking awesome here. And that's all he does. He doesn't make something unless he's tested it so, so thoroughly and made sure that it is something that he's going like, oh yeah, this is locked in. And he locked this in. It's like, it's, it's a wrapped, but it's its own, it's its own thing. I, uh, I've loved it so much. I just can't put it down over the last two weeks now that I've had it.